What's up guys, uh, it's that time of the year again. Uh, currently, for the 2015 April ban list, we don't have any end date, uh, which is kinda strange. Um, I think that's the first time that ever happened. Uh, I can be wrong though, uh, since we always knew uh, when a new format would uh, start off or yeah, end. Uh, but the general assumption is that the new list will probably be revealed after Nationals format. Uh, so no end date yet. But we can speculate uh, of what might happen on the new TC G list for July 2015. Before I start, guys, um, these are just my thoughts about the possible upcoming ban list. It's perfectly fine if you have another opinion about a certain card or yeah, card choices. Uh, please don't be that guy calling someone an idiot. Uh, so, so yeah, again, it's all speculation, and I'm happy to read your own card choices, opinions, and so on down below. Alright, let's start off. Yu-Gi-Oh! in today's metagame has been quite frightening for me. Uh, the way how this game is played now, it's either I'm going to lock my opponent out of the duel or he's going to lock me out. Uh, best examples here are the gym lock of course, super easy to set up in Necros. Other floodgate uh, cards like for example Light uh, or Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, Imperial Iron Wall, Vanity's Emptiness, Skill Drain, Lose a Turn, Mistake, anti-spell fragrance and the list goes on and during this and the more recent formats i feel that if you don't draw your out uh, for example mst to destroy their floodgate card or have book of eclipse for the gin lock uh, you lose and for me and i'm sure for more people this is not fun. Uh, I feel that in today's 2015 format we have so many problems that Konami is either ignoring or they are just not caring. Uh, so I'm again looking forward to the next ban list, which I hope uh, solves some of the problems we have. But again, no high hopes to prevent the disappointment. For the list, uh, Konami has a few choices. For example, uh, they can weaken the current top tier decks uh, with some minor restrictions to every top tier deck. Uh, so basically give all top tier decks the same treatment. That's possible. Although they also have a few uh, other options uh, to, for example, absolutely murder one or two uh, tier one decks and if they want, weaken the, the other decks a bit. This way, there is room for newer and upcoming uh, cards slash archetypes to introduce them into the game. Because let's face it, when creating the ban list, Konami's focus is not 100% uh, of making a full healthy metagame. Uh, there are other things uh, as well, uh, most importantly of course the sales of upcoming products and booster packs, new series and archetypes and so on. Uh, best way to promote them is to murder uh, an older deck slash archetype so that people kinda have to get into these newer and yeah because of the ban list better cards that, uh, that, yeah, that they are releasing. Uh, so these are all things we have to keep in mind when we create a list. The cards that might be banned for July 2015. Um, I have two cards here on the list. One of them is obvious, Jin Releaser of Rituals. I don't think this card needs an explanation. The Jin Lock first turn and your opponent having zero outs to it, GG well played next game. Like, that's not fun. Uh, on top of that, it's it's just an unf it's just unfair how uh, this guy, the Jin, can create a huge problem like this. The card has no business in our TCG metagame. The second card uh, is a card I mention uh, for the first time in my uh, banless prediction videos, but it's a card that deserves a ban for years. Royal Magical Library. Ever since the beginning of this game, this card was always a big tutor card in OTK slash FTK, yeah, more FTK uh, strategy based decks. Uh, best example of this is playing like 20 draw spells with this and uh, Exodia or Magical Explosion, blasting the room and the list goes on. Uh, now this card uh, for now is not fully a problem but it's just a matter of time that library again will cause these unfair and not enjoyable duels if we can call this a duel. Uh, right next the card set might be limited. Uh, I think it's more easy to take a look uh, at a few of the top tier decks that might get hit. Uh, first the deck that I think most people are hoping that uh, it would take some kind of hit is of course Necro. 
goes. I, I can't agree more with this and I don't see Konami not hitting this deck at all. Uh, next to the Jin lock, next to Jin, uh, Konami has a few possibilities to hit down to one. Important is that we can take the, the, most, yeah, the, the, the most recent OCG list as a possible example of uh, yeah, what, uh, uh, might, what we might can expect here over here in a TCG. Possible options that might go to one are, uh, of course, their core searchers, uh, both Manju and or Senju. Uh, both were limited in the OCG, which led them to play Necros with other strategies and other engines, like for example Deskbots and uh, Heroics. Um, with the most recent OCG list, Manju uh, went back to 2 and Senju back to 3. So again, both are possible options. Uh, a possible reason not to hit these two searches is that they don't want to hit other ritual archetypes or yeah, ritual decks. Uh, so again, it, it's possible. Next to Manju and Senju, we have both uh, Unicorn and Cycle, both currently at 1 in the OCG. Last, Brionic uh, currently here is at 2, but uh, it's also at 1 in the OCG, so again, a second, uh, yeah, a second hit on Brionic to 1, uh, it's possible, it might be likely. Next to Necros, we have Shadows, uh, that might take some kind of hit uh, with the most recent OCG list. Shadows got murdered, uh, Construct got banned, uh, both Curry banned and Mathematician went to 1, El Shadal Fusion went to 1, unbelievable how Konami axed uh, them there. Uh, so for the TCG, I can see possibly uh, two cards that might take some kind of hit, so either to 1 or 2, uh, mainly Construct, the Fusion, and also El Shadal Fusion. Again, looking at what happened in the OCG, but it's all speculation of course. Then we have Burning Abyss, uh, also currently one of the best decks in today's uh, metagame, in today's format. Uh, the deck might take a small hit as well with our last uh, TCG list, uh, Tour Guide went to 1, which was a good choice. Uh, so other possible options that might uh, take some form of hit are uh, Graf uh, or Sir, uh, possibly, and even maybe a similar, uh, similar limitation indeed on Dante. So with the same mindset of weakening other top tier decks as well. Then again, is this going to happen? We don't know. Uh, it's, 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 it's of course possible, but it's always uh, guessing and it's a speculation until we get the actual list. The last card that might take a hit is Instant Fusion. We all know why. Norden, oh yeah, Norden is coming out in a TCG very soon. I think somewhere in September, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, they either are going to ignore Instant Fusion or uh, yeah, to push the sales a bit, let's be honest. Uh, or they are going to somewhat solve this well-known and dangerous card combination. Other decks, other top tier decks, um, Satellite Knights, Clyfords. I don't see Clyfords getting a hit. Maybe lose a turn, but probably not. I don't know. Uh, Satellite Knights. It's also a deck that I'm, I'm getting fed up with uh, playing against. Uh, so you, you know how it goes. A summon of the Nap and set three or four back rows. It's just not fun to play against. And uh, but yeah, is, is, Konami, uh, is Konami going to hit them? I don't know. Maybe a gutsy call or a gutsy hit uh, might be the Nap uh, one or two uh, Rota maybe. But it's it's again. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen. Then the cards that might come back to two or go to two. Uh, I think I only have three cards uh, mentioning here. Uh, Book of Moon, a very versatile card and essentially a minus one when you activate it, but a very strong and skillful quick play spell card to interrupt any of, uh, yeah, any of your opponent's plays. Then we have Monster Gate, which also might be slowly coming back uh, off of the list. Again, a slight boost for Infernoids here. And last, Compulsory. Compulsory Recreation Device, which is currently at 3 in the OCG. Let's not forget that. Uh, I'm sure I'm overlooking uh, a lot of cards here, which is always possible. So again, feel free to mention them down below. Last, the cards that might come off of the ban list, we have uh, Samurai Chien, Tragodia, uh, Sacred Sword, and of course, Charge of the Light Brigade. All are possibilities, but again, it's all speculation. And to end the list, of course, there are a few honorable mentions. Uh, uh, cards that weren't mentioned before, but deserve uh, some of the mention here. First, we have Stratos. <laughs> I feel... Just like every other previous TCG list, uh, this card is sadly not coming back off. I don't see it coming back. 
Uh, there's of course uh, both Vanity's Emptiness and Skill Drain, which were rightfully hidden uh, with our uh, previous or yeah current TCG list. The only problem with these cards now is that uh, now you can lose to that possible random Skill Drain if a Clyford player does open with it. Uh, same counts for Emptiness. And last, a card that a lot of people uh, see a possible solution for the current problems in this format in the current metagame and that other people definitely don't want to see returning to our TCG format is Heavy Storm. Um, I too am fed up with the current format uh, of uh, summoning a monster slash searcher and set 3 or 4 backhoe without any fear of getting blown away by a possible Heavy Storm uh, from the opponent. Then again, I remember the formats where Heavy Storm was legal and the amount of times that I got heavied uh, by my opponent, uh, which was followed up by an OTK. It's, it's again, that's, that's just one of the downsides of the cards uh, of Heavy Storm being legal. Uh, so is Heavy Storm or even maybe Harpy's Feather Duster our savior of the format? I don't think so. I, I thought that. Uh, there are more or yeah, other uh, underlying problems, but yeah. It's it's just uh, it's just uh, yeah how uh, Konami is going to deal with those problems. So this is it. This is my list, a possible prediction for the upcoming July 2050 ban list. So again, guys, if you have any opinions, any thoughts, any uh, card choices you want to see hit as well, you can always leave them down below. Thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave me signing out. Peace.